The heart is a muscular organ that lies in the center of the chest. It pumps blood containing oxygen from the lungs to the body and passes unoxygenated blood back to the lungs to absorb more oxygen. To do this effectively, the heart is divided into four chambers. There are two on the right and two on the left. A valve lies at the exit of each chamber. These valves ensure that blood flow is only in one direction. The left atrium lies above the left ventricle. The two chambers are separated by a valve called the mitral valve. The right atrium is above the right ventricle and these two chambers are separated by the tricuspid valve. The left atrium receives oxygenated blood from the lungs via the pulmonary veins. This blood then passes into the left ventricle which pumps it into the aorta which then pumps it to the rest of the body. The right atrium receives unoxygenated blood from the rest of the body via the vena cava. This blood passes into the right ventricle which pumps it into the pulmonary artery and back to the lungs to receive oxygen. The valve at the exit of the left ventricle, the aortic valve, stops blood from passing back into the ventricle. The pulmonary valve at the exit of the right ventricle also prevents backflow of blood. This flow does not, of blood doesn't happen automatically but through contractions generated by electrical stimuli. My name is Eric Frischertz. I'm a cardiologist with Capital Cardiovascular Specialists in Austin, Texas. I'm here to answer the question, what kind of education does a cardiologist need? A uh, cardiologist first needs a college degree and then has to go to medical school for four years. After uh, four years of medical school, you then become uh, what's called a resident, uh, which is divided into an internship, which is the first year after residency, which all doctors have to do to become licensed to practice medicine anywhere in the United States. Once you've completed your internship, generally you do two more years of internal medicine residency, which is uh, basically uh, medicine for adults, similar to what pediatricians are for children. You then subspecialize in internal medicine in cardiovascular disease, which is another three-year fellowship after the internal medicine residency. And uh, depending on the program, this three-year program can range anywhere from three to five years. And there are also subspecialties of cardiology beyond that. Begin the operation, a 6 to 8 inch incision is made in the chest and the sternum is split down the center. A retractor is inserted and used to further open the space created, revealing the thin layer of tissue covering the heart known as the pericardium. Another incision is made and the pericardium is secured out of the way, providing the surgeon with a clear view of the heart to perform the operation. During bypass surgery, the heart is cooled and stopped. In order for the patient to continue receiving oxygenated blood, the heart is connected to the heart and lung machine. Carefully monitored by a technician at all times, this pump filters and oxygenates the patient's blood and recirculates it through the body. Typically, the greater saphenous vein from the patient's left leg is used for the bypass, and with groundbreaking technology, this vein is extracted from the leg through a hole roughly the size of a dime. The extracted vein bypasses the blockage by connecting to the aorta and the area just beyond the blockage on the heart.